From awe to compassion, exploring different states of selfless joy. Positive emotions have gained significant research attention in recent decades, with particular focus on self-transcendent emotions, those that shift our attention away from our self-interest towards something beyond ourselves. Despite growing interest in these states of selfless joy, which include awe, gratitude and love, most have been studied separately, leaving researchers unclear about how they are connected. A new study by Angela Gaya Abatista and Florian Kova at the University of Geneva offers the first comprehensive framework for categorizing these uplifting emotions. Their research reveals that self-transcendent emotions aren't just one uniform family, but can be divided into distinct categories with different functions. Abatista and Kova conducted two large studies involving thousands of participants who either recalled emotional experiences from their lives or watched videos designed to elicit specific responses. Participants reported their emotions, bodily sensations, thoughts and motivations. Using a statistical technique, the researchers identified three main dimensions of positive emotions. Positive, self-centered emotions, such as happiness, joy and pride, were categorized into the hedonic state family, which is associated with activation, relaxation and motivation for personal enjoyment or self-enhancement. In contrast, positive emotions that were self-transcendent formed two other distinct families. The first family, called social state emotions, includes compassion, tenderness, love and being moved. These emotions are associated with tears and relaxation, witnessing outstanding moral standards, strong social connections and meaningfulness. They typically motivate pro-social behavior, helping and connecting with others. The second family, named epistemic state emotions, include awe, wonder, interest and fascination. These emotions are associated with feelings of shock and relaxation, perceptions of being in the presence of something greater than oneself, and slowed time perception. They typically motivate learning and curiosity. This research challenges the common assumption that all self-transcendent emotions serve similar psychological functions. While these emotions direct our attention beyond our immediate self-interest, they do so in two different ways. Social states connect us with other people, while epistemic states connect us with new knowledge and the wider world. By creating a new framework for understanding positive emotions, this research opens exciting possibilities. By using this framework, mental health professionals could harness tenderness and compassion to promote pro-social behavior in their patients. Meanwhile, educators could foster awe and wonder in their students to enhance learning. Through their study, Abatista and Kova have provided a valuable roadmap for exploring how different forms of selfless joy shape our connections, motivations and personal growth. Thank you.